Hello everyone, welcome to our special techno channel. Last session we talked about the second part of creating the point styles with SLD. In this session we will talk around the first part of defining the styles for line feature types in Joe server. If you want to know more details about it, watch the rest of this video. Lines are one of three vector data that represented in GIS maps. They are used to represent the shape and location of geographic objects such as street center lines and streams. Lines are also used to represent features that have lengths but no area, such as counter lines and boundaries. In Show Server, you can define color, thickness, and the type of lines, for example, a continuous or a dashed line. There are many options and tricks for making lines display nicely. As for points, we will start with a simple symbol and then move to the examples that are more complex. Simple lines. This example specifies lines be colored black with a thickness of 3 pixels. To do it, navigate to the style section from data menu, then click on add a new style. Enter simple line in the name field and select SLD in the format field. At the list of default style from style content, select line and click on the generate link. Scroll down and from style editor box, replace the black line and black color at lines 13 and 16 descriptively. Press enter at the end of the line, then specify the width of the lines to 3 pixels. Remove the line 21 because it's empty. Finally, click on validate to check if you misspelled something. When it returns no errors, click on the apply button. Now we will explain some elements. There is one rule in one feature type styles for this SLD, which is the simplest possible situation. The name element shows the name of the style that you defined in the name field, line 8. The title element in line 10 assigns a descriptive name to this style, but the title element at line 13 assigns a descriptive name to its rule. A styling lines is accomplished by the line symbolizer element, lines 14 to 19. Line 16 specifies the color of the line to be black. Finally, line 17 specifies that the width of the lines to be 3 pixels. Switch to the layer preview section and click the layer name above the preview box and select roads layer. You just created a new style for a simple line symbol. This is the first step in creating custom maps, where you decide how and what has to be drawn. Click save. Line with border. Lines in SLD have no notion of a fill, only stroke. Thus, unlike points or polygons, it's not possible to style the edge of the line geometry. However, it's possible to achieve this effect by drawing each line twice, once with a certain width and again with a slightly smaller width. This gives the illusion of fill and stroke by obscuring the larger lines everywhere except along the edge of the smaller lines. Click on Add a new style from the Styles page and enter line width for there in the name field. Select Simple Line Style from the existing styles, then click on a copy link. On the Style Editor page, do what you see on the screen.
Since every line is drawn twice, the order of the rendering is very important. Lucifer renders feature type styles in the order that they are presented in the SLD. In this style, the blackboard lines are drawn first by the first feature type style, followed by the red lines in the second feature type style. This ensures that the red lines are not obscured by the black lines and also ensures proper rendering and intersections, so that the red lines connect. In this example, lines 11 to 21 comprise the first feature type style, which is the outer line or stroke. Line 15 specifies the color of the line to be black. Line 16 specifies the width of this line to be 5 pixels. And in line 17, a stroke line cap parameter renders the ends of the line as rounded instead of flat. When working with the bordered lines, using a rounded line cap ensures that the border connects properly at the ends of the lines. Lines 22 to 32 comprise the second feature type style, which is the inner line or fill. Click on validate to check if you misspelled something. When it returns no errors, click on the apply button. Switch to the layer preview section and click on the layer name above the preview box and select roads layer. The result is a 3 pixel red line with a 1 pixel black border since the 5 pixel black line will display 1 pixel on each side of the 3 pixel red line. Click save button. Dashed line. This example alters the simple line to create a dashed line consisting of 5 pixels of drawn line alternating with 2 pixels of blank space. Click the add a new style again, then enter dashed line for its name. Select simple line style from the existing styles, then click on the copy link. Specify the color of the lines to blue at line 16, and from the next line, edit the width line to 1.5 pixel. After the stroke width element from line 17, press enter and add stroke dash array in the next line. Click on validate to check if you misspelled something. When it returns no errors, click on the apply button. Switch to the layer preview section and click the layer name above the preview box and select roads layer. In this example, line 16 sets the color of the lines to be blue and line 17 sets the width of the lines to be 1.5 pixel. Line 18 determines the composition of the line dashes. The value of 5-2 creates a repeating pattern of 5 pixels of the own line followed by 2 pixels of omitted line. Click Save button. Railroad or Hatching This example uses hatching to create a railroad style. Both the lines and the hatches are black with a 2 pixel thickness for the main line and a 1 pixel width for a perpendicular hatches. Click the Add a new style again. Then enter Railroad for its name. Select Simple Line Style from the existing styles. Then click on the copy link. Press Enter at the end of the line symbolizer element on line 19. Then do what you see on the screen.
there are two line symbolizers. The first symbolizer draws a standard line at lines 14 to 19 with black color and 3 pixels for the width of the lines. The hatching is invoked in the second symbolizer on lines 20 to 35. Line 25 specifies that the symbolizer draw a vertical line hatch perpendicular to the line geometry. Lines 27 and 28 set the hash color to black on width to 1 pixel. Finally, line 31 specify both the lengths of the hatch and the distance between each hatch to both be 10 pixels. Click on validate to check if you misspelled something. When it returns no errors, click on the apply button. Switch to the layer preview section and click on the layer name above the preview box, then select Rods layer. Click Save button. In this session, we learned you the first part of creating the line of sides with SLE in Joe Sever. It's our pleasure that you subscribe to our channel and watch the videos. Also, if you would like to know more information around the second part of the creation of point of sides by Joe Sever, we recommend you to watch the suggested video. Have a good time!